is up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Anime, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's staying safe. My voice sounds a little bit different today. I'm not sure what's going on. But anyway, uh, back making the videos. Had a little bit of time off because we went to Legoland and did some other things. And just enjoying life with the missus, you know what I'm saying. So, before I get too much into the video... Big shout out to the Discord, link down below. Come and join us. Best Discord in the community by far. Learn more about the game, make new friends, you know what I'm saying. So, today's video, and I've got a couple coming for the rest of this week. We've also got KVK on fucking Saturday. That'll be interesting, so I'll be popping over to VIP, see my friends over there, and uh, we are matched up against a 78 Star Kingdom, so interesting. We'll see, but today's video, what I really want to talk about in my spare time, I do browse across uh, Facebook groups and other people's videos that they make, and I see some terrible things. But also, a lot of people ask me questions about the game, and one of them happened to be in regards to what kind of gems should I be putting on my, you know, Lord and my equipment. Now, I'm going to talk you through it. Before I get too much into the video, I do want to state mine does need work. This is not exactly how it should be. But this is a rough guide and I'm going to talk you through it. You know, some things on here shouldn't be here and they sh they could be replaced with other stuff. Maybe things I ain't got, etc. So, not a perfect setup, but it's going in the right direction. But hopefully I can just guide you to what gems and stuff you should be having on your equipment, if that makes sense. Okay. Oh, my alarm goes. It's just gone off. Do you know what that's for? That's to go and terrorise the Turks. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I've already done that. Okay, so... What we have today, we're going to talk you through the gems that are on uh, my equipment, etc., and things that really should be there. Because I've, you know, I, I think to be honest, I really should start at the gym because um, with the ring because I see a lot of stuff on people, um, and basically they take out they they obviously saw them three new gems that came in: the attack, the HP, and the defense, and they took everything off their ring and slapped them three gems in there. I mean, that's all right. I made a video about it, but. Ideally, you need, depending on the troop that you're playing or what you're attacking with at the time, some people change out gems, you want the damage reduction gem in there. If you're playing Siege, then potentially change it for Siege offensive damage. You don't need an attack, and then HP would be the next best one on there. All unit HP. So, that is basically starting off at the ring. Damage reduction. Fuck, don't worry about the middle one. If you've got if you're playing Siege, she's engine offensive, or maybe he's put something else in there. You could put uh, the troop health, but then also go with all units HP on the bottom. Okay, coming across to your pants like so. On the gems I've got on here, because I do play infantry, obviously top of the shop, infantry basic defense, infantry basic attack. Those two gems in there, you're going to be going for like the troop that you play. So... If it's, uh, obviously the archer goes on the boots. I believe Siege does as well. But I believe you can pop cavalry in here. So depend what you, you know, depending on what you want to play, decide what you want to pop in here. But I've gone for infantry. It's always good to have a strong front line. I believe even if you're playing another tube type. So consider that when you're doing here. I've also got an archer crit rate in here because I do actually play on defensive infantry archer. It's not flat out infantry uh so yeah that is basically what i've got set up on there again like i'm saying you can copy this but it's totally up to you some people might not have these gems and you're going to need to work towards them okay on your helmet top of the shop you should have a troop damage whether it's infantry cavalry whatever then you can have a troop uh health infantry for me uh i don't really have a lot because it's the mining event i've blitzed through everything and then last but not least, we've got a perfect moonstone on there. Now that could be switched between offensive damage and also offensive damage reduction. You can't have both. So a lot of people get a bit muddled up with that. Okay, coming across down here to my boots. Now, one of these gems on here, which would be this one here, the defensive damage 12.5%. Uh, some people may not have that on there. I personally do. What you may want to be doing in there is popping in uh, Archer Basic Attack. I believe Siege. Is it Siege goes on the boots as well? Let me go and look at my uh, fucking Siege here. I don't play Siege, but fucking built one for the lols. 
uh, basic siege engine attack also goes. So obviously, yeah, if you are playing siege, then consider switching out. Obviously, where I play infantry, I've got um, pikeman crit damage in there. All soldier units HP, which again I could change for. I, I don't know if we can play infantry or siege. Oh, it's only archer or siege. You'll notice when looking at changing the gems that you know obviously the ones are available. The health gems only certain ones go in certain slots, and you can't stack on them if that makes sense. So just always go through and just double check, make sure what's there. Um, so yeah, that's how I've got my boots set up. Again, probably maybe in an ideal world, some people may change that for archer basic attack, or maybe change that for you know if they don't want the pikeman crit damage. But again, I'm an infantry player, so I do need that. Coming up here on the armor, we have okay. We've got counter by siege engine because obviously I'm an infantry player and I also play a bit of archer as well, so that helps me. All units receive damage. Now, this is something that I was chasing for a long time. This is a pucker gem. You want to be having this on there. Unit receive damage reduction is just pucker all day long. You really want that. Even if it's not a rare elf and it's the next one down, put it on there because it's really beneficial to you. Um, next one down, a lot of people I see in here, I personally had it for myself, was all units defense. Um, I managed to pick up an all soldier units attack um, gem and that's what I put in there to obviously cover me so that is what you know I mean some people put that in there I think ideally as I'm sort of speaking as well I will mention there are other gems that you can get that are paid um, like all units countering and stuff like that sometimes I believe that one pops in here and maybe some on the other pieces so it depends how you're playing if you are spending as well this is obviously, you know, you can pick up them gems and slot them in there. But this is more of a, a base guide to, you know, give you uh, an idea of where you're going. Last but not least, we'll pop on to the weapon. What we've got here is counter archer 10%, because again, potentially a weakness of mine, because I play infantry archer, sort of. Uh, all units damage. That is one of the gems that you want to be getting in there, 4%. And then debatable on the last one, it's just a gem that I picked up from the event, all, you, all soldier units defense, 37%. To be honest, where I'm standing at the moment, I don't really have much better. I would have said that's probably one of the best ones, better ones to put in there if you do have it. Or again, maybe one of the other paid gems if you're playing that option. Other than that, I pretty much believe what you should do is then copy that straight across onto your defending hero. So one of my defending heroes is Roger. So then I would come across here. As you can see here, we've got infantry damage reduction. We need to improve that gem up to the next stage. All soldier units HP and bit of defense because I don't have the attacking one. Um, and then again, going through, that's basically what I'm running on my shit. Infantry basic attack, infantry basic defense. Countering, all soldier units attack. They're all soldier units defense, right. This one massively needs to be, in my eyes, on my castle, Needs to be changed for all soldiers' uh, units receive damage. That green thing that I was showing you a minute ago. I just can't fucking get it. I'm just not lucky. But anyway, it's what it is. Um, damage health and offensive damage reduction. And then countering uh, archer. And then I need another damage gem to pop on here. But I still replace with that. I haven't got lucky. So, other than that, I hope this video helps out. That should give you a rough guide of how to be setting up your gems. I've seen some terrible stuff. Not to like you know name names but like yeah i'm not gonna do that but like yeah at the end of the day like i said mine's not perfect it's heading in the right direction but i see a lot of people get confused especially on the ring make sure you've got them damage reduction gems on there they are very beneficial and will help you out a lot other than that my name is mr random it's all about my voice i don't know what's going on i've uh yeah the weekend was pretty crazy but uh yeah stay safe enjoy the video slap a thumbs up join the discord and I will catch you peeps uh, later.